the card turned down. I've hurt a lot of people. Him. Tia. If it weren't for me, nobody would have become unhappy. Even that day, if I hadn't asked him to go out and find a stuffed animal for our child, who hadn't even been born yet. Mebius, it's me. Do you know who I am? Dexon. That's right. You were blaming yourself just as you're doing now when we first met. You think too much. You're totally different from someone like me who escapes from reality by convincing himself that he's doing what he's doing now is destiny. No, stay away. Stay away. I suppose I can understand if you dislike me. I'm a coward. Because of me, you had to go through all this alone. But we've come a long way together. I still need your help from now on. Mebius, come here. Dexon, I can't. I... The truth is that you... You! What are you doing there? It's you! How did you get inside? Dexon! What? Ah! Miona's on TV. What's going on? Miss O'Connell told me everything. I saw all of the evidence that you and your friends had been putting together to incriminate Zephyrs. If it's all true, it's unforgivable. Tadamichi, I was wrong about you. That was a quick turn. And how you knew that you were wrong about him when you were just insulting him. <laughs> what? <laughs> because you must have gone through all the info before, right? <laughs> it's kind of goofy. All right. Dad. Regardless, I couldn't broadcast it so irresponsibly. After all, there's no guarantee that Zephyrs will not retaliate somehow. I have my employee's safety to worry about, so it was impossible for me to give permission to broadcast that information. My meeting with that young girl was a true godsend. You met Miss Miona inside? But how did you know that she was one of us? She was carrying Tadamichi's ID. She deserves all the credit. She's the one who understood what I was saying immediately. Miona! I would never have taken part in something like this before. I guess I've grown old. Dad! Tadamichi, do what you believe to be right and take responsibility for all you do. Yes, I will. Thank you. All I did was make a few arrangements to air the segment. If you want to thank anyone, thank Miss O'Connell and the girl. Everyone, can you hear me? Mebius. Sis. Miss Mebius, it's Semel. Are you okay? I'm fine and sane, but Dexon's hurt. I'm coming down now. Dexon, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. They've done it. The truth about Zephyrs is finally out. It's over. I don't care what happens to Zephyrs. I will not let you move your frame. I'll stay out of sight for a while until things boil over. Ugh. Cage, there is a communication on the direct circuit. The regular circuit will be cut off temporarily. What? I have undone the restraints. You should be able to move now. Mr. Tweed, how? I've done the same with the others. Farsty, can you move? Yes, there is no problem. That is all. Thank you so much, Mr. Tweed. Let's go, Farsty. Alright, straight into battle. Hmm. They're the furthest, so they're the one we're gonna go after. was so close, but not quite a crit. Still, it killed. Hold on. Let's attack with our ranged units first to take advantage of the most... the furthest ranged uh, damage we can do. And we just want to hit as many of them as possible. And just whittle down their health so they all go down in one attack after. Oh, that was bad. I guess I still did damage, so it's okay. Yeah, this is Yukido.
All right. Nice. Okay, so we're controlling the top line okay right now. I'm leaving the top left a little bit. I guess it's fine. Articulator. It's kind of cool sounding. There we go, got a crit. Instant death. Goody. Okay, uh, we've left ourselves in a relatively defense position, so that's good. Let's take them all out. What? Their restraints were unfastened. Why? Amante! I am here, what do you need? I'm taking the bazak. As long as it moves, I don't care. I had it all fixed up, what do you think? I'm good, aren't I? Yes, good job. Well, in that case, there's no need to choose. Come! Okay, let's go. This will be the last battle. These guys are not gonna be able to get me. And Phil's not in this fight because he died last turn. Is that what it was? Or la last fight? That's annoying. It would have been good to get some attacks in with him. Alright. Come on, dodge them hits. Okay. And good. Okay, this is good. Then we should be we should be all set for next turn. That was a weirdly like <laughs> avoidant enemy, it just didn't want to attack me. Now we just have to sit through these animations and we should be good. I do like this game. I'm impressed by its story for, for what it is. I feel like the oh fuck. I feel like the era of like the epic tactics RPG like Game Boy Advance style storytelling just like hasn't been in vogue for a while. Even on like the Switch and stuff, games are games are a lot different, a little bit more self-contained than they used to be. A little shorter. I have so many fond memories of playing these like long ass handheld RPGs, like especially on like PSP and stuff, right? Some of those games were super long. DS, DS and Game Boy Advance era. They really wanted you to get your money's worth out of those double A's, that's for sure. <laughs> I mean, I guess on the Game Boy Advance. I can kill anything in one hit. I think, with nail laser, right? Yep. For plow. We should be able to kill him. As long as we don't miss. Okay, we're good. Good, got her an upgrade. This should take him out. Ooh, another crit, nice. Texas says, I love the mode 7 and sprite parallax in the aim mode. It could take an animated Windows background looking like that. That would be so sick. 
Oh, this is Yukito. Oops. Okay, so he has an instant death kick, which is good. I think this guy... no, they're both undamaged. Okay. That's fine. Sure, we'll use Bloodsucker, why not? That sounds fun. Alright. This should be relatively simple. Just avoid these attacks. Oh my god, he just like edged me there, just like didn't fire at all. Come on, dude. It is nice that like the moment one of your units gets hit once, everyone just starts targeting them. I mean, it's bad because it means if you get hit, you just get blown up, but like it makes it easy to like quote unquote like tank the fight. Oh no. Sure, I'll use Ray Disaster and see what that does. Instant kills is what it does. That's good. Rosma's gotten enough kills, so we don't need to. I don't need to really level him up. We'll just start taking that out. We are gonna attack with Ares to get this thing leveled up. That was so close. It wasn't a crit, but it was very close and very cool. Let's kill with Warren. It's probably bad in order of operations, it's fine. Head over here. And now there's just one more attack. Come on. up with Semel. Try to level her up again. This should kill, right? Yeah. Kerplam. Useless trash. Can't even stop them. That's fine. I shall end it once and for all. Finally. Amante, where are you? Amante, what are you doing? Zephyr's is over, and so is my job. I have to go and report all this, so good luck from now on. What does that mean? You still don't get it? I'm done with you people. I was used? You little brat, who are you? 
Not telling. At the very least, though, I'm not supporting Earth. No. Besides, I don't really like guys who are mean to girls, so later. She's actually super based. Ugh, this is classic. A Martian rat was able to get in. Damn, Bahram. All right, look at this. Uh, so he's perfectly in our range. Crit. Just take him out. Just fucking take him out. Just, <laughs> just wreck him. Sure, we'll use Abel Kane. Let's put on the anime so that we see what it looks like. Single turn, cash out. Not bad. Ah, this is it. But I won't sink at your hands. I won't crawl along the Martian dirt. I live free and die free. After I die, nobody will even touch my body. Look at me. I am Bolasov. You'll be hearing it in the next world. <laughs> it appears he did not use the evacuation device. I never got to understand Bolasov, even at the very end. All right, we did an okay job there. Phil is really deprived of, of levels, but that's fine. He conducted these unethical experiments in order to perfect this technology, and that lies at the heart of the accident of the Bonaparte III. Three. Bleh. Of Bonaparte III, which I mentioned earlier. This concerns not only Mars, but also Earth. Is there anything that you would like to tell me now? That's clearly a plot to frame me. A bunch of falsehoods. If it were true, they would have some sort of evidence. I don't expect you to believe what I said without evidence. This is the data log of the Bonaparte 3. <laughs> it is I. I don't care. Put him on. To zeal, it's two. Don't worry, all of the data has been destroyed. There's no evidence anywhere. Of course, Zephyrs, it's for you. Yes, Zephyr speaking. Did you have a chance to watch the broadcast? That was quite a spectacle. You. This is troublesome for us also, having them storm our studios like this. So I have an idea. The only thing not under their control right now is the direct emergency phone line to the studio. I will connect you now, and you can have your chance to prove your innocence to the young lady directly. What do you say? Heh, <laughs> that's insipid. That may be interesting. Do it. But. Yes, sir. Miona, I'm connecting you with Zephyrs. Good luck. Thank you. We meet again, Miona. Or what name do you go by now? It's nice to meet you, Mr. Zephyrs. I don't know who you are confusing me with, but I'm Miona Alderin, nobody else. Well, excuse me. And what kind of evidence are you going to show me today? Did you find something within those records? The Bonaparte Three collided with a mysterious black frame and went through an unscheduled crash landing onto Mars. There were survivors from this accident, but you got rid of them and hid the very cause of the crash. That is because the black frame was the result of your demented experimentation. Am I right? You have a very vivid imagination, young lady. It is not that simple an affair to experiment and invent weapons. Surely you have evidence to support such an accusation. Unfortunately, the data taken during the span of the accident has been deleted by use of a special technology. And what would that be? This is ridiculous, a special technology? It's all in the presentation, isn't it? Why don't you just admit that there's no such evidence and that you're making it all up? This noise. Do you know where this sound is coming from? I would say an anti-proton reactor. Th this is the sound the black frame was emitting before the accident. It has been recorded under 42 separate headings in our element log. This is our evidence. Ah, that is a little bit interesting, but it goes without saying that an orbital frame is equipped with an anti-proton reactor. Even if the cause of the accident was a collision with an OF, there's really no evidence to link it directly with me. Were you involved in the research and production of the orbital frame? Why would I be involved with a thing like that? Okay, then were you researching the topic on your own? Or then you were researching the topic on your own, were you not? This is getting tedious. I don't sanction this OF. And that, uh, and that is the general consensus within the UNSF. I understand. But then how did you know that noise came from an anti-proton reactor? If you've never done any research, how would you be able to recognize it the way you did? That's, that's common knowledge. I said black frame. I never said anything about an orbital frame. I never said anti-proton reactor, either. 
could easily have been an LEV or a fighter. In fact, that would be more probable. I played the sound for you, but I know nothing else. Would you mind explaining the terms antiproton reactor and orbital frame to the viewers, as well as to myself? Well... How about admitting the truth? As in yes, I made the orbital frame and caused an accident. I killed the survivors and blamed it on the terrorists. How dare you! Hey, you listen to me! We've cut off the circuit. You've shown enough disgraceful behavior today. Zephyrs, you are dismissed from your post. But General, you can't possibly take what that child said at face value. That proof was... This came in the mail. A handy PC? It's a record of the interior of Bonaparte III right before the accident. It's a hoax! Footage no longer is considered as evidence. It's not just footage, it's grade A evidence class data. N how No! That's just techno babble. that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> this clip was made by putting together two sources of footage with special digital standards. It is easier to fake a flight recorder than retro retouch this material. Would you like to ask the court martial if this can be used against you as evidence? I don't think it's necessary. It's only an ingenious imitation for the purpose of framing me. Mr. Irving got this in the mail. It's data that contains the real location of the Bonaparte at the time of the accident, as observed by military base on Mars. The interior visuals match its external location at the time. The only incongruous thing is your side of the story. I'm disappointed, Zephyrs. I expected much more of you. It's unfortunate. Dezeal, I too am ready to be judged. At this point... Judged? I'll gladly give you your punishment. Ah! Irving. Ugh, Zephyrs, I'll get you. <laughs> Those darn terrorists. I'll show them. They'll cower at the extent of my strength. This is the least we could do for the many people who have passed away. Thank you for your time. Woohoo! That was great! You really pulled it off! Miona, good job! I told you how to release the studio. Go and take care of that, Mr. Terrorist. Yeah, leave it to me. There's a gigantic thing headed in this direction. It's huge. It's not a regular lev. It's Zephyrs. First off, let's get out of here. Are we really going to do battle? Isn't it better to get Miona an escape? It's not a bad idea to have an escape route to use whenever the time is right. I'll go get Miona. Vijaya is the fastest one. Please leave it to me. Yeah, okay. Be careful. <laughs> Everything I have worked so hard for has. It's all your fault. This is the end. You're over. I'll erase you from existence. Then my life can be good again. Words are lost on him. <laughs> Farsty, you should have gone to the underworld with your siblings and all the others then. I'll destroy you so badly that you'll never have the hope of living again. What is this guy saying? Beyond comprehension, he is in a state of excitement and has lost all ability to follow logic. I'll erase everything. Oh no, he's not going for the TV station. We have to stop him. All right. Uh, do we just want to wait? Let them waste their turn and come to us. We really don't need to engage firsthand, there's no point. This is absurd. Oh my god, he moves so slowly. This is a nightmare. Oh god, it's gonna take so long for them to get to us. Uh. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. These maps are too big, man. These maps are way too big. Hexo says, these games always make charging head first a bad idea. Yeah. It's always just more efficient in the action economy to just, like, let them come to you. And you can just pick them off as they're, they're on their way. Jeez, he can only move three spaces at a time. Oh, God, man. That sucks.
Which one is Semel? Okay, she's really low on health. She'll need to heal next turn. They can't move and attack at the same time, and they'll all go down in one hit, so we'll just kill them all in one go. Or at least as best as we can do. Three squares. Oh my god. cannon them uh yeah we want to use her furthest range if possible oh i forgot to turn the anime off okay it doesn't kill them in one hit anymore that's not good the anime. Alright, that did 2,000 damage though, so that killed one hit. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Crit. Oh, that wasn't a crit, but it still killed, so we're good. see what we can do. This should do 2800 if we hit good, so this should most certainly kill them. Oh, and we got a crit. There we go. Alright, let's block their advance. Do something like this. That might be a crit too. No, but it's still killed. All right, cool. They're going to aim for her. Good. Okay, so I don't think any of the others can reach her, so she's safe. And this is just easy experience, even if it's just small. It's fine. And we can just let him walk towards us and pick him off as he does it. Not bad. I do like playing tactical games like this you know, for the channel and stuff, because it is just, it's kind of relaxing. And then we can just start taking them out, top down. Crit. Kerpow. Nice. Full health. Really not bad. This saves me. Oh, do I have an item? I have a supply pack. Um... We'll take it. Why not? I'll just keep her away from the battle for now. Very good. And we should be able to kill them now. Ow. 
That's because we really upgraded that one, if I remember correctly. Um, no, I want this unit to go like over here so that we're closer. I'll move my melee units up to get closer to intercept that thing. Oh, that was actually, that's actually kind of a bad move. I'll move those units back after. Because we want the baddie to be in range of our, our ranged units, which can't, uh, can't move and attack in the same turn. Okay, he can move and attack in the same turn. Oh, wow. It's the same as, uh, it looks like Tempest, kind of, from the first game. Was that it? Tempest or Nebula? I don't remember. Um, go back here. Just wait for it to get closer, I guess. There we go. All right. We should be able to lure him down now. No, we can't attack. Perfect. Ugh, we're still... He's still a little bit too far. What's his movement range? Okay. All right, let's just start attacking. Crit. This is going to be easy. <laughs> Piecemeal says, good evening. Congrats on getting the house. Thanks. It's not 100% set in stone yet. Um, we still have a lot to do before we can fully claim the house. But... kill oh, that was so bad I just didn't even press the button that's fine we'll get the kill with Semel and this will be great and we won't get the kill with Semel it won't be great damn it because this will boost her level significantly I guess I could do it with Warren to boost his his level too. But I feel like Semel needs it the most. She's level 20. Hold on. 24, 21, 23, 22. Yeah, she needs it. Okay. Just being sure. Don't take the Harit Marit lightly. I'll roast you alive. Tri Dude, fight me. I will take you lightly. I'm lightly taking you right now. Let's do 450,000 damage to him by hitting a crit, huh? Gave it up. I could have hit it earlier. That was so bad. <sighs> I wish I just had analog control here. Oh, 
Why can't I barnstorm her? That's weird. Oh, fuck. It's so sensitive, because it's a D-pad for analog movement, so it's really bad at it. Uh, it's fine. Gonna try. Okay. Perfect. Why can't he attack? That's weird. I guess just out of range? Damn. Alright, let's try to get another crit. Got it. Not bad. Not bad, Semo. We'll take it. Another crit. should kill. There we go. Me? Lose? Ha! Ah, impossible. That's right. The Animus. My Animus is invincible. Isn't that right, Vale? <coughs> vale? Who's that? There is nobody who fits that cr criterion. You. You are not Vale? How is that rep How is that possible? Then, how are you moving? No, I get it. You took his place? Never mind, it's all going to be over very soon, but you, I will never forgive you. Never! There is abnormal energy emanating from the interior generator. It is running on its own. He's going to self-destruct! Oh no, Miona! Go away! All the things that get in my way up in flames! Everything! <laughs> up in flames. Everything. Oh! The TV station is safe. All organic matter within the building is regular, but... Ares saved them! Ares! Everything's fine. Miona! Miona, are you alright? Cage, is that you? It's over? It's all over now, isn't it? Yeah, it is! We got through it! We made it! Yes. Let's get out of here, it's dangerous. Thank you, Ares. For what? If I hadn't met you, I'd still be a child who couldn't do anything by himself. Thank you so much. I'm just living my life the way I want to live it. I don't deserve any gratitude. <laughs> we're going to be friends for a long time, aren't we? Yeah, I hope we're friends forever. Iblis? Why? Ares! Cage, take Miona and run! Hurry! Okay. This feeling. Damn. They plan to do this from the beginning. Ares! Ares! Farsty, don't come. You, at the very least. Not you two. Ares! Say something! Ares! 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 Ooh! Big twist, huh? Ares died right after saying we were going to be friends forever. What a shocker. The... Top 10 anime twists.